Hi, and welcome to this short instructional video. Today we are going to have a look at the Universe Pages CMS. Universe Pages enables you to create, edit, and share content easily. You can make all kinds of different pages, ranging from your typical HR pages to project or team-specific sites. Let's have a quick look at the Human Resources page group. As you can see, there are many different kinds of elements on the landing page text, images, and channel discussions, for example. These are all widgets, or what you could call the building blocks of pages. By mixing and matching widgets in different sections, you can start to create the layout and structure for your page. Other things that you can see on the page are the hero image, the page title, and other pages that are part of this page group. We'll cover all of these when we start building a new page group. To create a new page group, go to the navigation on the left-hand side of the page and click Create a New Page Group. First, write a title for your group, so for example, Marketing, and then write a short description. Next, you can choose what kind of layout you want for your pages. The layout you choose will be the same for all of the pages in your group. You can choose whether or not you want a hero image, and whether you want the collection navigation to be at the top or the center of the page. For this collection, we'll choose Adaptive plus Hero. And press Create. Now we can add a hero image by going to the icon at the top left of the page. So let's choose something from our computer. We can also add a page title. It doesn't need to be the same as the title we chose earlier. Let's save our changes by clicking the Save button at the bottom right corner of our page. Notice that whenever you have unsaved changes made in your page, there is a blue parameter around the Save button. Remember to save frequently. As mentioned, pages are made up of different sections and widgets. So to start filling out our page, let's add our first section. There are many section layouts to choose from, and you can easily change the layout later on. So feel free to play around with how many and what size widgets you want to have in your section. Let's start with a half-half section. For the first widget, we can add some text. Simply click Add Widget and choose the text widget. To get the rich text editor view, paint the text. Let's change the format of the first sentence to Heading 1 and underline the text. To change the font of the text or make other changes that affect the whole page group, click the brush icon in the editing bar. From the page group styles, you can choose an existing template, create a new one, or choose to use My Styles from where you can choose styles for this one particular page group without making a template. Click Paragraph Styles to edit fonts for different formats of text, such as headers, links, and body text. Let's change the body text font to Open Sans. Notice that from the Page Group Style section, you can also edit the other parts of your collection, such as the hero and navigation. Take some time to click around the Group Style section. From here, you can edit parts of your page group down to the pixel level, and if you want to discard the changes in the end, just exit the settings without saving. So let's add a background color. Now let's add another widget to our page. Selecting a discussion feed means you will add one of your channel discussions to your page. It's a great way to make your page interactive and link channels and pages together. Click Select a Discussion and choose the channel discussion you want to add. For this page, we'll add the Ideas and Innovations channel discussion so that the marketing team can see what ideas their colleagues have posted and react to them. Click your widget to get a view of the widget settings. From here, you can change the form your widget takes. Let's change this widget to a, to a carousel by clicking on List Type and then Carousel. You can also add a heading to your widget. Let's add ideas and innovations as a header here. Now our first section is ready. Make sure to have a look at all the different widgets you can add to your page. You can embed anything from your Google environment, 
such as sheets, forms, and docs, or add an iframe, for example. You can create new pages and subpages by going to the bottom of the edit bar and clicking Manage Pages. To create a new page, click Add Page and add a title. And press Create. If you want the new page to be a subpage, you can drag it under one of your existing pages. Now you will see that there is a small arrow in the navigation bar of any page that has subpages, and you can see the subpages in the drop down menu. Finally, let's take a look at how to share your pages. Go to your page group settings and click Share Page Group. Here you can choose who can view and edit your collection and share your pages to groups or individuals. Let's say I need Michelle to add some information to my page. In order for her to do that, I need to give her editor rights. If this page is public, I can also choose to share it directly to everyone in the organization. Just click anyone in your organization can view your pages. Let's save our draft for now and exit the edit mode. We can find our page group from the navigation bar here in the left hand side of the screen and by clicking the arrow you'll get a view of all the pages in the group. When you want to continue editing your page you can just go back to the, to the edit mode and when you're done you can publish it to your viewers by clicking publish. That's it for now. If you have any questions about pages or universe in general don't hesitate to ask. Happy page creating!